Despite the much anticipated rainfall, we're not out of the woods when it comes to our drought. In fact, we're far from it. KXN's Doug Shoup live downtown to explain how much more rain we'll need even after tomorrow. Doug. Well, Robert, because the ground is so dry right now, tomorrow's rainfall will likely just seep into the ground very quickly, as you can see, and not cause much runoff or flooding, if any at all. Instead, it's expected to be just a very beneficial rain, especially for those who make their living off the land. Like most farmers, an eternal optimist. With good chances for rain Tuesday, Skip Connett decided to take a chance himself and planted seeds at his Green Gate Farms in Bastrop Monday afternoon. I'm confident if we get an inch or more, it'll you know get deep into the soil enough that I can get my crops up and um, hopefully get through the winter. Just before the last time we saw any significant rainfall, which was about six weeks ago, Connett planted about five acres of peas, oats, and rye. But as you can see from this dry field, hardly any of it came up. I'm going to try it again. You know, it's, it's a hit or miss, and you know, I'm throwing, I had the seed, so I might as well use it. Connett and many other farmers must play the game of chances. After a difficult summer of drought, fires, and now two early fall freezes, life off the land is harder than even the most experienced farmers have faced. This has just been the worst year of farming I've ever imagined. According to meteorologists, Central Texas is 26 inches below normal for rainfall since the drought started about a year ago. It would take a series of storms that bring several inches at a time to gradually soak the ground and provide runoff. So Tuesday's couple inches of rain will likely only make a dent in drought conditions if it impacts them at all. This will be very beneficial for our topsoil, for our trees, for our vegetation. But as far as doing a, a whole lot of good for, say, the hydro side, for the lakes, for the aquifers, it's going to take a lot more than this to, to make a significant uh, uh, change in the way things are right now. But farmers like Conant remain hopeful more rain comes in the weeks and months ahead. They are cautiously optimistic, even when faced with the financial bottom line and the unpredictability of Mother Nature. We have quite a few friends who have who've given up. Um, and, you know, if this happens, if we go through another year like this year, I don't know, that, you know, it's, it's so, the odds are stacked up so much against you. Now, because Conant says this drought has been so hard on local farmers, he urges consumers to buy local meats, fruits, and vegetables. He says with so many struggling farmers out there, there has never been a more important time to support local food. Live in downtown Austin tonight, Doug Shoup, KXAN News.